Blessings, we are the Arcturians, and we have come to you within this now to speak with you. And Shauna is here to ask us some questions and to assist in making the information something that is usable in your daily life. So Shauna, would you like to begin by asking us a question? Yes, um, thank you as always for being here to guide and assist us. Many of us have felt an increased intensity since the eclipse and there's amplified energies and exposure to even higher awareness and deeper connection to the planet. It seems to have manifested in many ways for many people as we've connected with our leadership group, um, our interns, we've had some excellent conversations to, to get connected and, and share stories and validate our experiences. And we wanted to bring some of that through because you've helped us to understand on a deeper level, higher level, what's actually occurring. And there are many things. Would you like to begin with just an explanation of maybe what it is that we're all sensing in these ways. What has changed? What has changed is that we are going through the rocky waters of moving into the next frequency of reality. Now, there are many people that have no interest in moving into the next frequency of reality. And so they have chosen a path which is very different from those who have chosen to move into the next frequency of reality. Do you understand what we're saying there? Yes. And there is no right or wrong. Each person is deciding within themselves whether or not they are ready to move beyond their third, fourth dimensional consciousness and into their fifth dimensional consciousness. It takes a great deal of intention, dedication, research within yourself, and communication with your own higher self and the guides that have led you throughout your incarnation. And so those that have chosen this, as they would call the, the path less taken, those who have chosen to tread that path, they will go through the initiations of having everything look just like it was before with their third dimensional vision but something will feel different within themselves. And when they close their eyes and raise their consciousness and go into their higher states of awareness, they will begin to know and see and feel something that is indeed of a higher frequency. Did you have a question or comment about that, Shauna? Yes, uh, just to clarify, back to the, the statement about those who are choosing um, this expanded higher reality of what we're calling ascension of the planet into fifth dimensional um, existence, is that compared to those who wish to maintain the 3D version of, of fear and uh, worry and keeping people um, entranced in that uh, lower sense of consciousness, is that kind of this, this bifurcation that we're speaking about? Yes, that is exactly what is occurring. There is a, a parting of the ways, so to speak. And if you look through all of history, those who have moved into the dedication, intensity, and meditation, and remembering, remembering of their self, remembering of a reality that they have always had, but 
they forgot in the midst of their third dimensional experience. Those who have dedicated themselves to that mission will be the portal openers. And beyond opening the portals, they will be the ones that will move their consciousness through. Now, their consciousness won't be just moved, it will be expanded. For many of you beloved ones will maintain a physical vessel so that you can ground the energies that you are receiving and that you are saving. In that manner, you are not just helping humanity to remember and know, you are helping Gaia to be able to feel and integrate this fifth dimension and beyond frequency of thinking, of feeling, and the entrance into and the embracing of a new way of perceiving life. Do you understand what we are saying by that? Yes. Now the new way of perceiving life, we know is a statement that can be quite confusing for many. And for those who are confused, they will likely need to take some time to ponder and to research and to learn. But those who say, yes, yes, that new way, I know that new way, I feel that new way in my heart, I see that new way through my third eye, I understand that new way through my brain, my body is resonating. The kundalini is rising in my spine. And I know that something is very different with me and within me and around me. But at the same time, it's exactly the same. It is that juxtaposition that is so confusing to people. Shana, would you like to speak to that? Mm, oh, definitely. I, you know, you began the conversation speaking about the rocky waters that we find ourselves in at this time. And that's very relevant, um, you know, a description of what we are experiencing in our world around us, as well as within ourselves, because we're empathic. So we feel this collective um, emotion coming through as well as this, this higher self connection that feels amplified, as well as our deeper connection to Gaia. And these are all <clears throat> similar experiences that many of us have been sharing over the last week or so. So there are many mm, intertwining forces and influences and emotions and opportunities for transmutation in many ways at this time. Is it fair to say that whoever's listening to this message is probably called upon to seek that deeper meaning on how they can contribute and join in unity? Absolutely. Unity consciousness and join into the one, the one of humanity, of the planet, of the planet's earth, of the planet's air, of the planet's fire, of the planet's plants and trees and bugs and animals and humans. And it is the now for humanity to release the illusion that somehow humans were superior beings because that is a third dimensional concept. For a superior being is a form of separation. And what is occurring? is that every being from the smallest bug to the most powerful and advanced human to the highest mountain and to the deepest cave, everything, everyone is moving into this process of transmutation. And transmutation is something that is moving into a higher frequency of resonance. And so if one's perceptual field 
is not able to expand into the higher frequencies, they will not be able to experience this change. But if one is able to expand their consciousness and thereby expand their perceptions, they will be able to see the invisible, to hear the unheard, to know the unknowable, and to write it down. Now, you can write it down and never give it to a soul if you wish. But the process of writing it down, sometimes especially plain old handwriting, the process of writing it down is you telling yourself that this is important enough that I must document it. And then when you write it down, your hands will be flying. So you'll have to go back and read it again and read it again. And every time you read it, you will get something more. Because that initial message is that opening of that portal. Now, that portal that is opening is a portal that goes inside of your spinal cord from the very base of your spine all the way up to the very top of your brain. And inside of that portal is your potential for your light body self. And when you are ready to fully transmute into that fifth dimensional experience of reality, you will activate your fifth dimensional light body, your fifth dimensional perceptions, your fifth dimensional emotions, and your fifth dimensional interdimensional communication. As you do that, you will begin to understand things that you never understood before. Now, there is no right or wrong process. Each of you have gone through many incarnations in preparation for this reality and finding the manner in which you can best retrieve this information that has always been held within your high heart and within your multidimensional mind. Shana, would you like to add to that? <clears throat> yes, I think that uh, as we go through this major initiation, and it feels like it's on a collective level, so it's not just individual anymore, it's all of us together you know, facing um, those things that need to be healed within ourselves and contributing to the healing of the planet. I think that um, it's probably advisable for you to go within and start asking those questions and sensing those answers, writing those down and finding out how you can contribute. What are you here to do? What is your unique mission? And how do we all gather together to make this impact um, upon this reality that we desire to see? manifest yes it is the process of stepping in to your fifth dimensional consciousness and as you step into embrace feel live remember this fifth dimensional consciousness you will begin to have thoughts and emotions that you wonder where where did that thought come from? Why am I having that emotion? And how can I know that? That is that first marker that you are stepping into brand new territory. Have you been having those experiences, Shona? <laughs> yes. It, well, it's interesting to note. I, you know, we've been on this path for quite some time, some of us. Um, you certainly as well. And you're even noticing, or at least Suzil, you know, is noticing this amplified um, 
connection to the planet is, you know, something is just different in what's occurring around us and within us. And um, I think that we are reaching a new level. And so what a great time. If this is new to you, uh, a great time to get connected and see what comes through for you because the, the amplified energies and connections are readily available to you right now. And uh, what a great opportunity. Look at, look at the chance you have to make a positive impact on humanity as a whole. And to listen to Gaia's call. If any of you have read the news, if any of you have watched your television, if any of you are at all aware, you can see that Gaia is going through deep transmutations where everything is destroyed and to come back into its new higher expression. Every day, there's some new disaster, some new way in which Gaia is suffering. But it is not just that she is suffering. It is that she is releasing that suffering. And as each human can send love to the planet and to know that Yes, the people are suffering. Yes, the people have lost their homes. Yes, the, so many natural things have been destroyed. Yes, there has been so much destruction. And Gaia can feel it. Just like you all, all of you humans, if you tune in to that destruction, you can feel. You can feel how the people are suffering. You can feel how the planet is suffering. And so this is that darkest night before the dawn. And there is always a darkest night before the dawn. If you look at every single day of your life, there's always a darkest night before the dawn. And so do not fear that darkest night. Instead, Welcome that dawn that is coming forth. And feel that dawn within your own consciousness. It is the now. As you take in all that has occurred on earth and all of the suffering and all of the destruction, then allow yourself to encompass it within an orb of unconditional love. And within that orb of unconditional love, blaze, blaze, blaze of violet fire transmuting all shadow into light, light, light. For transmutation is exactly what is occurring. Transformation means that something changes its appearance, its structure, its purpose. Transmutation means that something or someone is moving into a higher frequency of resonance. So Shana, would you like to speak a little bit to that higher frequency of resonance that all of Gaia and all of her inhabitants are going through. And it is not looking like it is fun. It is looking <laughs> like there is a horrible disaster after a horrible disaster. Is that not correct? That is the truth. And we are being called upon to remain aware, centered, detached observers, uh, in all of these events, because, uh, you know, you've mentioned before, chaos precedes change. And we are definitely in the midst of chaos. And the Arcturians have provided so many tools for us to assist us in maintaining a higher uh, frequency of consciousness, higher levels of awareness. We are being called upon to master our thoughts and emotions 
because that's what creates thought forms and, and manifests in reality. So we are, uh, I think you've mentioned recently, you've used the term spiritual warriors. And that feels like the stage in which we find ourselves right now. We are banding together to hold the higher frequency and bring in that higher light into Gaia to assist with her healing process as well as our individual process. Um, and together we we can transmute these difficulties um, that, you know, it's part of the process. It's part of the evolvement of humanity. 